Hello, my name is Renzer, and I'd like to talk to you about some today. When you leave an outfit, you do it for all sorts of reasons. Back when I was in Kane, I tried to get them into the competitive scene of PS2. Sadly, it didn't happen. The community was either not ready for it, or just not interested. I took that failure quite personally, and on top of all that, I was also rejected into the leadership structure of the outfit. That hurt me, a lot, personally. I felt disappointed, angry, rejected, and a failure. And when people make important decisions under such emotions, it tends to bring out the worst in you, and makes you do things you will regret in the future. So, I decided to quit. But my ego was hurt, and I wanted Kane to pay for it. I wanted them to feel it. I went to some members and tried to convince them to join me. And I don't really think giving people chances or choices is bad, but uh, the reasons why I did that were childish, stupid, and immature. I did it because all I wanted now was to hurt the outfit. My big ass fat ego was hurt, and somebody had to pay for it, right? In my mind, I was the victim, used and exploited, and now rejected when not needed anymore. But I couldn't be further from the truth, honestly. Now I realize how selfish I was and how childish my actions were. You see, I always had support from them. They taught me the basics of Planet Side 2 and I combined that with my competitive FPS knowledge to create this channel. But it seems whenever I achieved something, I had to rub it in their faces. Like, look at me, I got 100 subs, 500 subs, 1500 subs, look at me, my videos are on the main page of PS2. I never gave them a chance. Gratitude had to be given there and then. I don't know why, but I always felt that I had to prove myself, constantly show that I'm good enough. I know now that it was not the case. I never realized that I was rejected from leadership not because they were jealous of me or that I was just treated as some kind of recruitment machine, but because, how Terabert put it, leadership is not a career and it would have just clicked by itself in the future. I know now that trying to force it you know, to be the center of attention was a mistake. Me, Daddy, Terabur, and Maraska wouldn't have worked for many reasons. We wanted different things, and I was too focused on making sure that everybody knew how important I was. I am ashamed now that I tried to use my channel as leverage to force that decision on them. From the perspective of time, I'm glad they didn't cave in, and were honest about, you know, what influenced their choice. So coming back, I quit Kane, and Renzer, the big fat ego kid, got hurt so he needs to hurt others. I tried to pick people out of the outfit, you know, give him a uh, possibility to join me. And I talk shit about Kane in my uh, new outfit. Damn it. I am really ashamed of that. That is just so much not me. I really don't know why this breakup was so emotional from my part. And why I needed to be recognized as much as I did. I think me coming to an already established outfit meant that I had to constantly prove myself, which I know was not the case now. I also think this whole YouTube thing got to me, guys. I really think it did. My already big ego inflated and I couldn't see past my big nose. About returning to Kane, I understand that there is no coming back to the outfit as one of the players, and I have no beef about that, really. The reasons are clear for me and I wouldn't even have the guts to ask, so I'm never going to. I still think that leaving Kane was the right move, considering the nature of the outfit, but the way I conducted it reeks of poor, you know, piss-poor judgment planning and overall childish stupidity. Make no mistake, I'm making this video not really to cause drama or to seek some agenda. I'm doing this because I want to fully admit that I behaved in the lowest way possible, not because I left and not because I gave players of Kane a chance to move with me, but I did it for the sole purpose of vengeance for something that in reality was not done to me. I am so sorry for my inflated ego, for thinking that, you know, the guys from Kane wanted to use me when in reality I was the one using them. And I'm sorry that when we split, instead of, you know, keeping a cool head, I acted like a poor brat who needed attention like mother's milk. I fucked up, I know. And I don't want anything back from them. I don't want my ranks, my permissions on forums because I got banned everywhere. All I really want to do is come clean and be able to say that I behaved like a brat, but in the end... In the end, at least I admitted to it. I would like to be able to think that day one day will be past this and this chapter will be done. Close in a positive way, even if the you know raw there was rocky as fuck. I think the word forgiveness is a bit big considering we're talking about a game. 
But still, the internet, as artificial as it is, has real human interactions in it. So in the, in the end, I guess I'm looking for that. Whether it will be provided by them, I don't know. We will see. Like I said before, I still think that leaving and restarting Chimera was a good move on my part. In Kane, I wasn't even a squad leader, but once I left, I had to squad and platoon lead every day. I learned how to cooperate with other leaders and be responsible for the outfit and its members. And also got to squad lead in four server smashes. Those positions were taken in Kane, but I could, I could have left on more friendly terms and avoid so much drama. But no, I just had to do it, because the attention whore didn't get what she wanted, yeah. I know that the average subscriber of mine couldn't care less about this, but uh, I'm doing this for my sake. I felt I needed to let it off my chest. Besides, there is a moral to this story, or more of a punchline considering the joke my behavior was. Don't let your ego get the best of you, no matter what. Because burning bridges behind you is rarely a good idea. And one more thing. Don't be afraid of not being loved or, you know, adored by everybody because... Fear only leads to anger. Anger leads to hate, and hate, well, that leads to suffering. Hope you listened to this, Tarot. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope to see you both on stream and in-game. Renzer out.